Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about vasopressin and specifically vasopressin as a second line presser after levofed, but I will also mention vasopressin used in other scenarios such as GI bleed or DI. So vasopressin's chemical class is a polypeptide hormone, but more commonly known is its therapeutic class, which is an antidiuretic. And as I mentioned before, so indication most commonly used in septic shock, but also used in GI bleed and diabetes insipidus or DI. For mechanism of action, so what vasopressin is, is it's a synthetic version of ADH or antidiuretic hormone. And what that does is it enhances water reabsorption from the kidneys. Vasopressin is contraindicated in patients with chronic nephritis and nitrogen retention. Some adverse reactions to look out for are gonna be angina, possible MI, tremors, and water intoxication. Okay, for nursing considerations, definitely use with caution in patients with coronary artery disease, CHF, and of course, monitor their electrolytes. So vasopressin is unique in the fact that it has two separate doses depending on the situation. There is a shock dose for septic shock, and there is a GI bleed dose for patients experiencing GI bleeds. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody! So first, let's talk about the shock dose. So dilution, you're gonna find vasopressin in 20 units in 100 mLs, which equals 0.2 units per mL. So your initial dose is gonna be 0.01 units per minute and you can titrate by 0.01 units per minute every 15 minutes. So your max dose on this shock dosage is gonna be 0.04 units per minute. So next, let's talk about the GI bleed dosage. It's gonna come in the same dilution of 20 units per 100 ml. So your initial dose is gonna be 0.2 units per minute, and you can titrate by 0.1 units per minute every 15 minutes for a max dose of 0.8 units per minute. 